And welcome to Cooking, Crafting, and Gardening with Margaret and Mia. <laughs> Today we have a very special project uh, that we'd like to share with you. And in order for me to complete the project, I have my special assistant here, Mr. Augustine Ramirez. Um, whenever I do something complicated or something new, he's always right by my side to help me. So today we are finally going to try a grafting project. Um, my dad has been teaching us how to do it over the last few months, and we think we're finally ready to undertake a grafting project. So for this project, we have a root, root stock, uh, which this is a tree that uh, once was a lemon tree, but the lemon tree did not make it during the winter months. However, this is what's left. And so we're actually going to use the root stock to grow something else. So we have a navel orange, we have navel orange scions, and we also have lemon, Myers lemons scions. So we're going to graft two different types onto this root stock. And we're going to use what's called the tongue and groove method of grafting. Um, and we're just hoping for success. This is actually our first time to undertake grafting. So um, Augie has already started practicing just to see if we were actually going to be able to carry this out. Um, so this is the tongue and groove method. He's already tried it off camera, but then we're going to do it again on camera so that we can show you all how to do it. Uh, but with grafting, you're going to first cut it at an angle, cut the um, scion at an angle, and then cut the rootstock branch at an angle. You want to make sure they're both about the same size. And the thing that we're wanting to do is line up the green cambion, which the cambion is what's around the branch uh, on both your scion and your rootstock. You're going to want to um, cut it at an angle and then match them up. And then those will um, synthesize and morph and, and begin growing whatever it is that you're grafting onto your branch. So this is what Augie has done. First, he cut it at an angle. Do you want to tell them what you did for the example? You can tell them. Okay. You're doing such a good job. First, <laughs> first he cut the scion at an angle. Uh, then he cut the branch at another angle. Then he made another slit on both the scion and the rootstock. So they can lock together. So that they can lock together. And again, this is called the tongue and groove method. So you need for the branch to be the same size of the scion that you're grafting onto it. And then you're simply going to just slip, slide it on. And then after you slide it on, you're going to tape it. So now we're going to show you all how to tape it. And then after you tape it, uh, you're going to cover it with something that's called tree wound, uh, which is kind of a pasty like substance that you paint on. And all of this is to protect your uh, graft and to make sure that air can't enter uh, because that's when you end up having disease. So now we're going to begin taping on, cam on camera. I'll tear off the pieces of tape and then you can uh, tape it onto the graft. And you're, you can't just use any old tape. This is actual grafting tape. And as you can tell, it's clear. So it allows your graft to get sunlight. However, it keeps out the oxygen. It keeps out the germs. Uh, and again, that is the thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is keeping out germs, keeping out any oxygen, because that will help your graft thrive. And we have to be careful because there are some, some so what are these stickers? There are some sharp spines on this. Spinas. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and so if you're lucky, you can find somebody to help you because it's, it's not easy, uh, particularly if it's your first time. So I'm very thankful to have Augie here to help me because <laughs> it's definitely not easy. Yeah, but this tape on this night. Oh, we're not even around it. Try another one. You want me to do it? No, I'll hold it. Just go ahead. Okay. 
So you got scissors. Mm -hmm. I think one thing that's uh, making it difficult because there is a, a sticker right there, but I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down. Well, it's hard trying to keep this tape flat. Mm -hmm. It'll turn into a piece of string. Should have put electrical tape. <laughs> I think my dad uh, has used electrical tape. You can actually use any tape that you want to use, but I think this is just more visually appealing. Um, but I, I know that I have seen one project where he used electrical tape. Well, I don't know about electrical tape because it used, has chemical in it. He used some type of dark tape, but it, it, and it actually worked. It, it worked. Okay, so we have it taped and we're going to tape it some more because we want to make sure that it's protected. Can you get some more That's tape? That's why they call you Dr. Me. <laughs> Dr. Things. Yeah. I can sure try. It may not be perfect, but I am willing to give it a try. Just a little bit more and then we'll get some of that compound. We'll paint some of the compound on it. Way too much. And now we're going to get some of the compound and paint it on. Just paint it all around it. Looking good. All right. Okay, guys, so there you have it our first grafting project and we will keep you posted if we have done it correctly we should see some buds from these knots that are here on the branch we should see some growth develop in about three weeks so thank you for joining us today and